hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to solve question 4 of novdec 2021 called mathematics paper 2. now question 4 is made up of a and then b now let's solve question 4a a boy sitting on a tree at a point 12 meters above the ground observed that the angle of elevation of the top of a tower 60 meters away was 28 degrees. Find correct to one decimal place the height of the tower. Now, even before we solve this question, let's represent this information in a form of diagram. So from the question, a boy sitting on a tree at a point 12 meters above the ground. So let's assume that this is the position of the boy on top of the tree and the height of the tree is 12 meters above the leveled ground. So assuming this is the leveled ground, then the height of the tree is 12 meters and this is going to be the position of the boy on top of the tree. Now he observed that the angle of elevation of the top of a tower 60 meters away so assuming that this is the tower which is 60 meters away from the tree so 60 meters he observed that the angle of elevation of the top of the tower which is this position is 28 degrees so from the position of the boy this is going to be the horizontal line of sight. And then he raises the head and realizes that the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 28 degrees. Now this 28 degrees is in reference to the horizontal, that is the horizontal line of sight. Now at this point, we are asked to find correct to one decimal place the height of the tower so let's label this diagram so we have this point to be a this is b this is c this is d and then this is e and the angle a e d is also 90 degrees so even before we start with our solution the distance b c is equal to the distance AE and that is equal to 60 meters and also the height of the tree which is AB is also equal to EC and that is equal to 12 meters so in order to find the height the height of the tower is basically the height EC plus DE. So we are going to focus more on this triangle, that is the triangle ADE. So from triangle ADE, which is this triangle, we are going to use the trig ratios to find the height DE. We have this angle to be 28 degrees. And because we want to find this side of the triangle, then we are going to use tan. Because for tan, we have opposite over adjacent. Therefore, we say that tan 28 degrees is equal to the opposite side of the triangle, that is DE, divided by the adjacent, which is AE. So this becomes tan 28 degrees equals DE over 60 because AE is 60 so DE is equal to 60 times tan 28 now tan 28 is 0 0.5317 so when you multiply the two values 
you have 31.902 so this is the height de therefore the height of the tower which is ec plus de is equal to 12 which is this height plus 31.902 when you add the two you have 43.902 meters now since we are asked to leave our answer to one decimal place therefore we say that the height of the tower is 43.9 meters so this is the height of the tower now let's move on to the b part so for b the scale on a map is 1 is to 5000 if the distance between two points on the map is 12 centimeters find in meters the actual distance between the points so from the question we are being told that the scale on a map is 1 is to 5000 now what this primarily means is that one centimeter on the map is to 5000 centimeters on the ground. So one centimeter on the map is to 5000 centimeters on the ground. Now we have been told that the distance between two points on the map is 12 centimeters. So we are going to find in meters the actual distance between these two points. So at this point, what we are going to do is to convert 5000 centimeters to meters. Now we know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, 5000 centimeters is equal to let's use the variable y therefore we say that y is equal to 5000 centimeters times 1 meter divided by 100 centimeters so centimeters cancels out centimeters we have two zeros cancelling out two zeros and then we are left with 50 times 1 meter. Therefore, we say that y is equal to 50 meters. Therefore, 1 centimeter on the map represents, represents 50 meters on the ground. One centimeter represents 50 meters on the ground. Now, if one centimeter represents 50 meters on the ground, then we want to find the actual distance on the ground between two points, which are 12 centimeters apart. So if one centimeter is equal to 50 meters, then 12 centimeters is equal to what? So let's represent that by x. Therefore, x is equal to 12 centimeters times 50 meters divided by 1 centimeter. So centimeter cancels out centimeter. 12 times 60 is 600. Therefore, x is equal to 600 meters. So we say that the actual distance between the points or better still the two points is 600 meters so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye